Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo Tea, and today I have a video showing you how to make these cute little shrink plastic bubble tea charms out of shrink plastic and resin, and it actually has some little polymer clay boba pearls as well. So the shrink plastic I'm using is frosted rough and ready shrinky dinks, and it's because it's already frosted you can easily draw and color them. So I have it on a black notebook just so you can see, and I'm using a Posca white chalk marker. And I found that these really draw well on shrink plastic. And I'm just drawing five different kinds of bubble tea packages. So I have the standard one. The next one I drew is a light bulb one because I see like on Pinterest there's always like a light bulb kind of container with bubble tea. Then here is kind of another standard bubble tea one. It has one of those dome shaped tops on the top. Then I have a mason jar that I drew for all the hipsters out there. And finally, I drew an IV bag and it's because I saw like on some website that there's like a bubble tea place that was giving out bubble tea and IV bags for some reason. So I'm like, why not? I'll include it. Once drawn, I just cut out the outline of the bubble tea. And then I shrunk them in the toaster oven. I didn't have the video showing the process because my toaster oven's really gross and dirty, but this is how they look like. And I have some polymer clay pearls. These are just flattened dots of clay and I use some translucents and some black clays. So then we're gonna fill it up. So I took some UV resin and I poured it into three different bowls. I added a bunch of glitter and you're gonna see this process over and over again. And I wanted to go for a galaxy theme for this one so I added some pink, some blue, and some purple and mixed it all together. And I just kept adding more pigments based on the color. So then I dab the different colors in just like a random pattern so it's more organic and more galaxy-like. And I gave it a quick cure with a handheld UV lamp. And then I placed it under a real UV lamp for a couple minutes just to make sure. Then on the same side where we have the galaxy pattern, I added some resin just to give it a nice doming. Then I flipped it over to the side with zero resin. And I gave it another layer of UV resin and I added the polymer clay boba pearls. And added more UV resin on top of that just so I can dome the rest of the shrink plastic charm. And once fully cured, this is how it looks like. And I really love the effect of it. The galaxy, the brightness and vibrancy of the tapioca pearls, I just love it. So next we're gonna go with the mason jar. So I'm adding some more glitters, so here's some pink glitters, and some green glitters, along with some white glitters. I added some more red, and I added some pink and green pigment. So then I just added the resin onto my mason jar and I'm making sure that I'm only drawing it within the outline of the mason jar and I thought hey this would be a good watermelon theme so I added a large layer of pink and a small layer of green and let that cure. I didn't think that the colors were vibrant enough so I just added the same pigment to the resin without any glitters 
and I made it super, super saturated with the pigment and I placed it on the back of the watermelon and I did that with the pink and the green. Next, I cured that layer again. And I domed the back of that charm. And next, I flipped it over and I added some tapioca pearls. And these are supposed to emulate like the seeds of a watermelon, which I thought was pretty creative. And then I domed it and let that cure again. And here is the watermelon mason jar bubble tea. And I really like how this design came out as well. So I want to go somewhat more refreshing this time. So I thought, hey, let's do like a green tea kind of refresher kind of thing. So I added some pink and yellow dyes that are translucent along with a lot of glitter. A lot, a lot of glitter. And I mixed it all together. And I placed the glitter on the light bulb charm. And we're going to repeat the steps where we cure the layer and then we're going to dome the back and then cure it again. So for this one, I domed the top and I decided to add some translucent, like colorful pearls, like the rainbow pearls. But you really can't see them just because they're so translucent, especially in the resin, they just kind of blend in. So this wasn't as great, I should have just added black tapioca pearls, but I didn't know that's how it looked like. So this is the green tea. For the next one, I'm adding a lot of glitter once again. And just I just keep pouring it on and I added some red glitter for some color and then some more glitters and then red dyes so I'm going to be filling this in the IV bag and it's kind of weird because it's red like blood but I thought hey this could be like some red bubble tea drink I don't think I've ever seen anything red before but I thought it works, so I added that in the IV bag and I just placed it in the little square compartment or rectangle compartment in the drawing. Then I do the cure and dome and then cure again. And I learned my lesson with the translucent pearls, so I added just black tapioca pearls to the front and let that cure. But no, the tapioca pearls all shifted so they're not all in like the red compartment of the bag. So they're all downwards and I was kind of sad about that because I really liked how this turned out. So for the last one, I thought Maybe I should use just glitters instead of any pigments. So I added some green, some blue, some pink, and some clear. And I just layered it one by one. So I had the pink layer on top, then the green, then the blue, and the white. I thought the white would be good on top because it looked like whipped cream almost, like a smoothie. And I let that cure, and I did the same whole shebang where I dome the back, cure that, and I flip it over. Then I dome the front and I add some tapioca pearls and I'm even more careful with this one making sure that it doesn't shift anywhere before I cure it. And I realized this is kind of like the dango coloration that I did. 
But here's how this one turned out once fully finished. And I really like how this one turned out. I wish the blue was a little bit more vibrant instead of like, it kind of looks like white. So it looks like I have two white layers. Here's my galaxy one that I made first. And I think this is probably my favorite one. The red IV bag where all the pearls shifted downwards and that made me really sad because I really like the design of this shrink plastic one the most. The watermelon one because I always make something watermelon at one point or another. And the light bulb one with the rainbow pearls that you could barely see that I wish I made more vibrant. But oh well, it's a learning experience. So here are my five bubble tea charms out of string plastic and resin and a little bit of polymer clay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of bubble tea container that you like to drink out of and what's the weirdest one you've ever had.